Still going. So this is my final hobbing setup, final in air quotes, um, on my Osterline, Ohio uh, Universal Mill circa 1927. Uh, that's been pretty much rebuilt. Uh, since the last time I've added a, a coolant system, I'm using water-based uh, soluble oil coolant. Um, you can kind of see how I did that. And I found a really nice coolant pump on Amazon for about 120 bucks. And that does a, a super job. Um, I'm making 32 uh, spur gears, 16 DP. Um, and um, I'm making a, a gang of three. Uh, these are index gears for this machine. So once again, I'm making gears that uh, hopefully have a practical purpose. You can kind of see how this uh, how this is set up. Uh, the mechanical feed is working. It's about five thousandths per revolution, and um, and this is the the view of the index train for this gear number. Uh, in case anyone's interested. I suppose the other uh, the other thing that's happened is I added this uh, this nifty little uh, control panel, which isn't quite finished, as you can see. But um, it also mounts the the VFD on the back, so it's just kind of a convenient place to hang that. Um, anyway, that's the story. Um, So far, it seems to be doing pretty well. According to my thought, anyway, with this size hob, I should be able to go to about 160 RPM. And I'm kind of working my way up to that. I haven't got a feel yet for what the ultimate capabilities of this machine might be. But uh, so far, it seems to be handling a full depth cut at uh, 5 thou per rev and 100 30-ish uh, RPM, so I'm uh, pleased with that. It's going to speed up the production process quite a bit, I think. I've been hobbing gears out of steel for a few days now, and they're starting to look pretty good. Now uh, this sounds decent. Uh, you can hear the hob working up front and the, the train is quite a bit quieter and a fair bit more accurate. Uh, this was one of the earlier ones that I did. You can see I've got a little bit of pitch line run out there, but the other gears are looking pretty good. This is the biggest gear I've made on this machine so far. That's 84 teeth at 16 dB, so the Blanks five and three eighths. Uh, it was the biggest stock I had. Um, I needed a large idler gear, um, and you can tell from the sound that the thing is ringing like a bell. But it seems like it's cutting pretty well. Um, anyway, that's uh, just another. Um, Point, data point, I guess, in terms of uh, what I can do with this hobby machine.